Oh, there you are. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm back. I've been enjoying my Coke Zero for, I don't know, the last two or three weeks. Today, we're going to watch a video of a Moorish sovereign citizen robot. I'm sorry, a Mormish sovereign citizen robot. This is what everybody likes to see, all right? There's some window breaking, etc. Uh, the guy throws out a veritable um, textbook of sovereign citizen terms. So uh, stick around for my analysis after we watch the video. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Sign up for my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. The link is in the description below, trying to get a thousand there. Sign up for the Common Sense Academy too. Thank you for tuning in. A Moorish, uh, I'm sorry, Mormish sovereign citizen robot. Raise your glass in the air before we watch this video. Sip with me. It tastes better when we sip together. Coke Zero, Diet Coke, what's the difference? Cheers. What can I do for you? How can I help? Uh, are now only $6.99. Uh, I'm, I'm, my nationality is enormous. Okay. And there's great savings and much more. Be sure to visit our website at WeGiveYourTree.com. Remember, for the best quality, selection, value, and service, by the rest of the nursery, Great Wiggins Nursery, that's our team for you on. In the home township, I'm on your plane road. We have more good supplies. I have a Mormon's national license. What does that have to do with, uh... Here you go. What does this have to do with, uh... My, uh, my nationality is Mormon's. My... Are we been through this at the start? It's Greater Detroit's preferred HR and payroll provider. So what is it? Visit payroll.com. Here you go. Our customers get our money. And where did you get this? My nationality is Mormon. Okay. Well, you still have to have a Michigan driver's license. Driver in the state of Michigan. You don't have that with you? My right is to travel. I have the right to travel. You have the right to travel. Everybody has the right to travel, but you also have to have Michigan State Law driver's license. You have that, sir. May I have your name and badge number? Yes, Corporal Kosaski. And um, what is the emergency? How can I help? Okay, first of all, you have to listen to what I'm saying, okay? I have given you my papers. I'm in control here, not you. I have given you my papers. Those papers don't mean anything. Yes, they do. Okay. How about we settle this in court again? You need to listen to me. Put your car apart. Do you have a Michigan driver's license, yes or no? That's my license right there. Okay, that is not a valid Michigan driver's license. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to ask you this much as of right now. Are, are you are you going... Uh, you need to listen to me first What of all, facts okay? or information are you, are you alleging to give probable cause to arrest or cause me? Listen to me very carefully. Very carefully. Do not obstruct or interfere with my duties right now, okay? For the record, I am not operating in a for higher capacity for engaging in a form of transportation or other commercial use of highways. Listen to me. Please acknowledge that you have been informed. Am I under custodial arrest? Okay. Listen what I'm saying to you. Am I under custodial arrest? You're about to be under arrest here in a second. Where is the uh, probable right cause that leads you to believe that I have committed or are about to commit a crime that authorizes you to stop and detain or arrest me? When you're looking to save on fresh food for your family, you're going to shop okay. list to Kroger. In order to protect my rights and not wave an error or accident, I wish to clarify from my legal standing of the situation. A. You said I am not free to go. I must to conclude that I'm in I'll a give custodial arrest. Give me a and license. I you gave it to you. Obstructing justice. I gave it to you. That is not a license. And you're also interfering right now. I'm not interfering. I also have to go to you court. Have a license. One. I do not I do not vandalize my property. Three. Do not vandalize my property. Four. Five. Congratulations. 
I am. I am not. Open this door. No. Open this door. I cannot do that. You're I violating cannot. law right now, okay? I ask you again. Do you intend to harm, injure, or steal my property, or otherwise punish me for acknowledging my fundamental, protective, constitutional rights? I'm asking you again. Do you continue to intend to deny me my rights? I'm gonna bust this window open and take you to jail. Where, you where's my arrest warrant? Open this door now. Where's my arrest warrant? He's giving you a lawful command, sir. Lawful order. You have no Your statement is part, partly false and outright lie. Sir, Are you not trying to fabricate probable cause or making false statement into a record of false allegations against me? Sir, he's giving you a lawful command to open the door. A lawful Your statement is partially false and an outright lie. And now you are trying to fabricate probable cause or making false statement into a record and false allegations against me. I ask you. Where is my warrant? Where is my warrant? Sir. Where is my warrant? Lawful order. Where is my warrant? Where is my warrant? A lawful order to Can I have your name and badge number? We have audio and can, video, sir. We're can I have your name and badge number? This right here? That name? Okay. I can hear everything you can say. You can see what I can say. I'm asking you again, do you intend to deny me my right and falsely imprison me or am I free to go? You must provide identification. Yeah, I gave Are it to you. Are you driving in the state of Michigan? Are you driving in the state of Michigan, right. sir? Can you answer my That's question, why, sir? Like, These are my papers. Answer, I don't need These that. are my papers. You have These are my papers. You have the These are my papers. You have identification, okay. sir. I gave you an ID card. Do you have identification? I gave you an ID card. Do you have identification? I am, I am Mormons. My nationality is Mormons. Identification. My nationality is Mormons. Do not break my automobile. Oh, damn it! Damn it! Out of car right now. You're under damn arrest, it. sir. You're under arrest. Damn it! Let me see your hands! Let me oh, see your hands! Okay, okay. Let okay. me okay. see your fucking hands, man! Don't fucking move! Don't you Don't dare! Don't you reach in your pocket, dude! I did not, I did fucking blow a hole in you! I did not, I did not write you. you did too reach in your pocket! Okay. I want you to exit this vehicle, Stay hands, right. let me Stay see right. them. Now you're gonna listen. Grab that right wrist. Oh Hang on, right. let me find out where the, uh... He reached in his pocket, man. I don't know what the fuck he's grabbing. Pull him out. You broke my window again. Watch his pockets, dude. You broke my window again. Oh, damn! Damn it! You're going to jail. Damn, before I tell you, I want to walk past the cars. I know what past the cars. Show me. Obstructing, interfering. Under what authority? No valid driver's license. Under what authority? State law of Michigan. Under what authority? Damn, you broke my window again. You broke my window again. Again? Again! That was the first time I did it. I don't so see obviously you had had Caesar. before. I don't but I think we're pretty good. Caesar. <laughs> I don't consent to searches of seizures. Well, right now, I'm Fourth Amendment just... requires me. Lawful yeah. order to uh, provide identification. You failed I to do so. You You're under arrest, sir, okay? I Calm gave down. you identification. Where's that card I gave license, you? Valid driver's license, sir. You Where is no, that card I gave you? No, everything's on audio and video, my man. So you can try to do whatever you got to do, man. We've been through this a million times. I already people like been to court. Okay. Oh, you can go to court again. Now you got to go to court again. Thrown out. Now I gotta the case go to court been thrown again. out. Okay. The case been thrown out. I told y'all don't consider it. Uh, you gotta, I'll, I'll do the hookup. Don't grab the ball. So what we have here is a traffic stop where the gentleman who was stopped opens the conversation by stating he is a Mormish sovereign citizen. I'm, I'm sorry, Moorish national, Mormish, I don't know, okay? He kept saying Mormish. We all know that what he meant to say is Moorish. And let me just say for the record, I have nothing, I have no problem. I think it's a great thing for people to claim Moorish national identity and culture. I do believe that that's a great and beautiful thing, but nobody should be in the United States denying that the United that the laws of the United States apply to them because it's just not true. If you're on the left side of the political spectrum, right side, right in the middle, or upside down, 
Uh, the laws of the United States apply to everybody who is in the United States. So this guy opens up saying that he's a Mormish national. Uh, the cop says, what does that mean? And, and, uh, and he hands him the papers, you know, the veritable magic papers. That's why I like to call this guy a sovereign citizen robot. He's a sovereign citizen robot. He's just going to spew off all the good stuff. Uh, he says, my right is to travel. And the officer says, well, you still need a Michigan driver's license. Name and badge number. What is the emergency and how can I help? Where is your probable cause? Where is the warrant? It goes on and on. He runs through the whole gamut. He says, I'm not engaging in the commercial use of highways, which is just the greatest, excuse me, all that Diet Coke, which is the greatest when it comes to the sovereign citizens. Um, he must have read all the sovereign citizen literature. He's digested. He was like a sovereign citizen robot, unless he was actually reading off of something. Now, the police, they used a couple of scare tactics here. They did the countdown, and then they didn't break, okay? I... <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do the countdown, you might as well break the window, like follow through. Uh, they were trying, they tried to open the door to get this guy out. Um, at one point he says, partly right, partly, partly false and an outright lie. What are the facts? They, what did I do? He's just a sovereign citizen robot going on and on here. Uh, this is in the great state of Michigan, and it looks like Detroit Motor City around there. And this guy, he opened with the, the Moorish defense, and he closed with the Moorish defense. Now, perhaps the, the funniest part about this was uh, they when they break his window, he goes, you broke my window again. And the officer says, this is the first time I did it. And obviously it wasn't the first time that it was done. I mean, come on, man. I don't know what point you're proving with this. This stuff is not real and it's not going to help you in these situations, okay? The police said they've been through it a million times. Apparently, you have too. We all know the right to travel is nonsense, okay? The, the, all, all the text that the sovereign citizens take it from are from uh, early 20th century or even 19th century opinions that are talking about a horse and buggy. The use of a horse and buggy on a road, all right? The, the courts, it, it, the federal law has established that the states are allowed to regulate the highways. And as part of that regulation, they can require you to have a driver's license. It's perfectly legal and perfectly constitutional. And let's face it, it's not that big of a deal. Go out, get the driver's license, drive legally, right? Our roads have to be safe. We're not the only, you're not the only ones who use it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer, Common Sense Academy. Check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer, where I cover the news from a semi-independent perspective. I'm sorry, a fully independent perspective. My goal is to be independent. I'm not saying I'm a, I don't have political leanings here or there. Maybe you can figure them out. Maybe you can't. But watch Joe the Lawyer, also a fun and informative channel. Uh, everybody have a great day and stay away from the sovereign citizen Kool-Aid.